It's come to my attention, not all y'all know that I have a cat named Tulip, so let me have her as my introduction this time. No singing bowl, but hey girl. Hello my beautiful Scorpio, how are you doing? My name is Simply Velka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, Scorpio, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do, darling, because that is how I keep up with you is through the comments, Scorpio. Now, as well, if you do enjoy this tarot reading today, Scorpio, or you just enjoy my vibe, darling, I would like to ask for you to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help me out a lot, Scorpio, and I always am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra stuff to give me that extra support. <laughs> so uh, remember though, Scorpio, that I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the tarot cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. I believe the tarot cards are just here to give some food for thought, perspective for you to consider today, Scorpio but never making the choices in your life because it's your life to live, not mine, and not these tarot cards, darling. So with all that being said, let's get into this weekly tarot reading for you, Scorpio. And so, excuse me, darling. The first card that I pulled for you, Scorpio, is the from this uh, Oracle Angel Oracle deck, uh, just so we could get a kind of theme for what you could probably anticipate this week. So you guys got Sinekiel, Angel of Vengeance. So when this angel is stepping forward to you, Scorpio, now this is something I kind of wanted to point, like I was getting this impression while I was shuffling. Right, because I have whenever it comes to doing these readings, I connect to uh, different uh, beings, the spirit guys that I've always been working with, and I was getting consistently the impression of um, being shown of someone being cursed. Right, I only get this impression just because I was just being shown different signals of what I would be looking for if I if something was going on with me. So I can only assume that for some of you Scorpios, that you guys are treading into some dark waters right now. This is a time, uh, Scorpio, normally I don't really get into these um, ominous messages like that just because, I don't know, I don't like to feed too much energy into that, but I have to tell how the, tell the impression of how I'm getting it. So something I just want to say to you, Scorpio, is that um, be careful with where it is that you're going this week. Make a, put an extra point in, you know, carrying some protection around you, right? Hold some black tourmaline, keep some black tourmaline around you. Uh, you know, evil eye, if you get another, like, get a evil eye. Um, I say another, like, you should, everyone should have an evil eye um, charm somewhere in their house, I feel as if. But I feel like you should get an evil eye just in specific uh, for keeping in your pocket during this time. I feel like you should make a conscious effort into doing some extra things uh, to be, just being extra precautious precautious at this time. Watch your back, right? Pay attention to who it is that you are connecting to and just the spaces that you're in, Scorpio. So let's get a little bit more detail, right? I'm seeing the number three, so we'll pull three cards. And we have the Eight of Cups inverted, the Five of Wands, and the Ten of Pentacles coming in for you, Scorpio. So definitely this is a situation that has been following you for a while. Um, this is letting me know of a consistent reoccurring conflict in terms of your home life, um, in terms of your workspace. There's some type of toxicity existing in your space that I feel like has just, you've almost tried to walk away from at one point, Scorpio, but then it just keeps finding its way coming back, right? Because of this Eight of Cups here. Now, this is the imagery I want you to pay attention to, Scorpio, so tab it back into this video, darling, to look at this card. This Eight of Cups shows an individual who is walking off, right? Going to bigger and better waters. So this card is really the symbolization of moving on. So when this is inverted, Scorpio, this lets me know of like a situation that just keeps, it's almost like a rubber banding effect. And during this experience, it's been like either, the signifies is like this is like a uh, blockage. This is the thing that you need to address before you're continuing moving forward into your 10 of pentacles, Scorpio. Or this could be what this reoccurring constant theme that like, that you can't seemingly uh, walk away from is bringing is conflict five of wands is always known as the conflict card um, so depending on the dynamic of how this looks like to you right and so ten of pentacles this is the card of where you would kind of either gather again in the sense of where 
whatever keeps on rubber banding the cycle that keeps repeating itself in your life scorpio you need to address before you get to your ten of pentacles or this is a situation of where it's like your ten of pentacles either your home life or your work life whatever deals with your stability darling um this is where the conflict is like the home base of right seems to be like a consistent common theme of um just issues right so let's close off this uh rose scorpio with one more card queen of wands so this is a card scorpio where i feel like this is the call to action for you darling this is the card for you scorpio to um i do see you guys being extremely motivated and just like I just want you guys to, Scorpio, just take the extra precautions this week, right? And I don't want you to be stressing and having anxiety about this, but I just see you, uh, Scorpio, in this sense of where the more that you continue to shine, um, the more I think things that have been not addressed in your life will come forward to you, right? So really, this is a sign for you, Scorpio, of growth. I would see this as because it's like when you're experiencing this fast-paced growth, um, naturally, you have to address certain things that have been repressed for a long time. Those things come up to the light the more you progress, right? And so I'm seeing this overall as a positive sign. Maybe this is just maybe op as well, just being an optimist, Scorpio. Keep this in mind. But I see this overall as a positive thing um, in this sense just you know while you are going through these lessons Scorpio just be sure that you're well equipped to uh, handle them and not to get too lost in the sauce we'll say <laughs> with this Scorpio hopefully that makes some sense honey uh, for some of y'all <laughs> maybe I just been speaking out of pocket this entire time and you can just say Velka you're crazy and I'll be like I know <laughs> so let's get into some advice from your spirit guides uh scorpio let's see what spirit has to say i always say darling this is the part where it's like you have to be ready to have a little thick skin darling because as i say it's like if you want to hear something if you want to just be told the good things that you want to hear about yourself you can just ask siri or alexa darling to do that for you um when your spirit guides are trying to help you your spirit's trying to help elevate you and they're not going to save your feelings for that so ten of cups in reverse uh for you uh scorpio so this is in terms of like your own fulfillment this could be talking about your own uh social circle if you look at this card you see how um well i guess i can turn it upright for you but it is inverted scorpio you can see how it's like the family life and all that so let's take a little deeper look into this because um i'm seeing two so six of cups and powerful Six of Cups inverted for you, Scorpio, as well as the Ten of Wands. So for a lot of you guys this week, Scorpio, I feel like you're, well, I don't want to say issue, darling. <laughs> I want to say your main focal point this week, uh, Scorpio, is to do a lot of shadow work. And I know that sounds like a cliche, but let me explain why I'm seeing it in this way. I'm seeing, especially from that other original message, let's just say, because I kept on getting home life from that Ten of Pentacles, right? And Tens also represents the closure of cycles. So it is, I feel like, some type of cycle repeating itself. When you keep on having Tens, this is something that it's been long overdue, basically, Scorpio. So Ten of Cups, this is the family life, really, like you see it, both these cards share that similarity in terms of family, Scorpio, right? And so then Six of Cups represents as well history, like this is the, you know, you see this card, tap back in Scorpio so you can see this card, Henny, um, and you see where it's the little boy and the dog, and then it's progressive to the now like a man and the older dog, right? So, so it shows history. This is kind of the theme here, Scorpio. And so then you have the Ten of Wands. This is referring to baggage. This is unfinished business, as I'm pretty sure I said from before, Scorpio. So, um, darling, you have the Magician card. This is, I feel like, yeah, and the Ace of Wands in the reverse. There's something that you haven't, haven't been wanting to um, accept, something that you haven't been wanting to uh, really address. Um, talking about some type of elephant in the room, Scorpio, and I kind of get the strong sense that um, for a lot of you guys, you guys haven't been wanting to... Um, I don't want to say you guys have been resistant to healing certain aspects of yourself, but um, there is kind of this sense of where it's like something you've consistently been putting on the back burner darling and now it's kind of the time for you scorpio to uh address some things right this is long overdue there is like this need for you guys to uh talk about something i feel scorpio 
let your feelings be known. <clears throat> so let's get into the good things now, darling. Let's see what good things are, in, are coming or in the works for my Scorpios. Let's see. Three of Swords in the reverse. So this is the good things. This is healing. This is showing to me. Again, I could just be being an optimist, Scorpio, but I feel as if like this shadow work that you're going to be going through this week, because I really do feel like this is going to be a week of just like deep reflection, emotional stuff. I'm kind of surprised we haven't seen the Hermit card really um, for your reading so far, Scorpio. But um, yeah, like it shows to me like this, these conversations, you talking about the elephant into the room brings forth that closure that we're talking about. So I feel like this is a heavy positive thing. I feel like this is really going to bring you closer um, to certain connections as well. I'm seeing the number three. Let's do three cards. We have the death card in the reverse. Come on now, Scorpio. This is showing to me like something that was only probably on the verge of being closed off, Scorpio, because something wasn't talked about. Shows that healing happens with this. I'm happy. Seven of Cups uh, inverted as well. So you're no longer looking for other options. You're no longer considering being like, oh, maybe I have to, like, if I let this go, this comes to a close and I have to consider all these um, statistics or what have you, right? Logistics, that's the word. Um, you don't have to consider that anymore. And then you have the Hierophant in the upright. This is such a happy storyline, Scorpio. This is, I'm probably going to just put this as like, your title as like a happy love story. Um, <laughs> but I really don't feel like it's going to be like, I know I want to just emphasize that it's not about like romantic because I really like you're not getting a lot of romantic cards in this Scorpio. This is just showing to me like deep connections, like your personal, you know, whatever, who your people are, right? Who your people are, or it could even just be with your job, talking to your boss, right? And like coming to a better understanding and you coming to like a raise or what have you, right? Um, so you know your dynamic than the Scorpio, but I really do see this more so as like your, your people. All right now, Scorpio, let's get into your social situations now, if we haven't already touched on it in your main portion of your reading, honey. Let's get into your social situations. This could be dealing with romance. This could be dealing with your work life. This is, you know, platonic, romantic, your best friends, right? You know your tea more than I do, darling. Let's see. We have the new moon in Virgo, a time to give rather than take. So this is such a beautiful time, uh, Virgo, the, Virgo, I'm calling you Virgo now, Scorpio. Um, this is such a beautiful sign as well, Scorpio, in the sense that uh, the connections that you have in your life, this is a time for you to not walk away. This is a time for you to give your energy, give your love to them, right? Give the benefit of the doubt, give them the chance to have a conversation with you, right? Let's do some cards here. Ooh, the cards are already coming flying out, Scorpio. We have the Nine of Wands coming in for you. So let's get two more. Page of Cups in Reverse and Five of Pentacles. So this is showing to me, Scorpio, and I'm going to call you some of you guys out. And I don't care if I'm going to step on somebody else's toes. I feel like some of you guys have some abandonment issues. And I know it's going to be a cop out for a lot of you Scorpios. and going to be like, I don't have abandonment issues. I want to whatever, whatever, girl. I'm a Libra Scorpio cusp. Don't even try me. Um, <laughs> I feel like because you guys have such a lone wolf personality, your safe spot, your safe zone is just to go back to that where you start becoming and like recluse and being like, oh, no one understands me, da 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 da, no one gets me. But the situation is probably Scorpio, no one understands you, no one gets you because you do not ever come from a place of full vulnerability, giving someone the chance to truly connect with you. No one ever understands you because you're always coming from a place of just feeling left out and continuing in this narrative rather than trying to open up and seeing if other people are able to understand. Instead of assuming what people might feel about you, be open about it, communicate. If you want to be understood from a deeper level, you kind of have to have those tough conversations with people in your life. Don't just go with the instant narrative that they don't care about you or villain Organizing them um, in whatever way, Scorpio. Look at it, take yourself out of the situation, right? Have you truly given this person the um, opportunity to understand and see the real you so you no longer feel like an outcast? Because I don't feel like you want to feel like an outcast. I don't feel like you don't want to feel like you belong to, like, I feel like deep down, Scorpio, you are craving the sense of just connection, but you have to be more open to it, darling. 
We have the Wheel of Fortune coming in the reverse. This is what's going on, Scorpio. Um, you have to be aware of like how you are responsible for turning those wheels, right? How do you want your story to be? Do you want your story to continually be in this lone wolf personality because it, or lone wolf archetype, right? Do you want to continue your path by yourself? Because you can, darling. I'm not saying you can't, Scorpio, right? You're perfectly capable of it. But is this what you truly want? right? Your intention is everything. If you want to continuously feed this energy and telling yourself that, oh, I can't trust anybody. Oh, I have to just, go, you know, you're, it's almost like you're finding reasons or excuses to go back into that lone wolf personality because the like the discomfort you will feel from vulnerability and having someone fully actually see you for you, Scorpio, rather than the facade that helps keep you protected right, is through those illusions and making it seem as if it's so impossible to understand you, Scorpio, right? How many toes did I step on, honey? <laughs> so now, Scorpio, let's get into your career and financial situation this week. Let's see what's going on over there, darling. What's going on for my Scorpio's career and financial this week? What's in the works, honey? Well, the luck is on your side. Did you get this last week, Scorpio? I feel like you did. New moon in Sagittarius, luck is on your side. So things are looking really good for you right now, Scorpio. In terms of your finances, let's see what clarifiers you can get for this though, darling. Right? What does this mean, honey? What what does this look look like? Right? Let's see. I'm seeing two. Two of Cups and the Four of Swords. This comes in the sense of where closer connections, closer partnerships come in, coming in through healing. Again, it's weirdly enough how like through you having this healing process, Scorpio, like again, like because I was seeing like this things not being addressed in your life, Scorpio cycle repeating itself and that's keeping you so distracted this shows right here the healing that you experience right brings in either closer partnerships and where you can work with them or this brings in just like the sense of where you're able to be open to receiving new opportunities in your life because you're no longer experiencing that ten of wands baggage that we were pulling for you before scorpio right two more page of wands and then the chariot card now this is in the reverse for you scorpio this is showing to me though again this message of until you address this until you have those hard ooh, excuse me honey until you have those hard conversations the the uh the car is stopped darling until you know it's very much so that analogy of where it's just like if y'all don't get along i'm gonna turn this car right back around and we're not gonna go to disney world right you need to kiss and make up scorpio you need to have those tough conversations you need to allow yourself to have the healing process you know go through those yucky emotions and then just make sure that you practice forgiveness before you leave the room right so now scorpio darling i know you've been rambling a lot honey but let's close off your reading with a quote card because y'all already know i love my quotes i love my positive affirmations so let's take an affirmation card that you can take with you for the, for the rest of this week, honey. <laughs> Let's see what's going on. Ooh, this came out. When I think I've surrendered, I surrender more. So Scorpio, can we talk about this, honey? This is, I'm gonna repeat it. When I think I've surrendered, surrender more. When I was just giving you guys a hard time, Scorpio, saying I need you to practice more vulnerability. Some of y'all probably were just being like, Valka, I don't want to do that with this person. And it's just like, oh, da, 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 da. you have your reasons or excuses for not trying to practice even more vulnerability. This card right here, honey, this quad, I don't know why I was going to say it like that. This is for you, right? This is your sign of showing that you can be more vulnerable. You can be more open. And for spirit to bring this card forward, Scorpio, in this way, to showing to be a sign, in my opinion at least, honey, that it's okay for you to open up more. <laughs> that you have good people around you, darling. So I'm gonna say this one more time. When I think I've surrendered, when I think I've surrendered, <laughs> surrender more. I surrender more. All right, Scorpio, that is the weekly tarot horoscope reading that I have for you today, darling. If you enjoyed this reading, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. Comment down below which cards resonated with you. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, Scorpio, my website is just simply Velka. I leave it down in the description box below along with all my social medias, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, everything, honey, is just simply Velka. And yeah, I want to just say I appreciate you allowing me to do this reading for you today, Scorpio, and I hope I can connect with you sometime in the near future. If you have a friend that's into tarot, send them the, one of their zodiac readings and maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them as well. Till next time though Scorpio, I love you so much.